welcome to the very first Theatre Stars vlog. My name's John Morgan. I run Theatre Stars uh, stage schools in Gloucestershire. We have three Saturday schools across Gloucestershire in Tewkesbury, Newant and Cheltenham. And we're planning on doing one of these videos every half term or so just to give uh, both current parents of students and students themselves uh, updates on our school, what's happening over the term, uh, what's coming up. And also some tips and some insider kind of knowledge from our staff and to get to know us a bit better as um, members of the Theatre Stars team. So the first uh, video we're doing today is I'm very kindly joined by Tom. Do you want to introduce yourself, Tom? Oh, I'd love to. Thank you, Eric. Um, <laughs> uh, my name's uh, Thomas Newton. Uh, my professional name is Thomas Selick Newton. I'm uh, a performer, actor and curator in the Southwest area. Um, but most importantly, I am a drama teacher and a manager here at Theatre Stars. Uh, I manage the Cheltenham branch of, of the company. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been an absolute pleasure. I've been here a year, nearly a year yeah. now, um, and it's been, it's been a really fantastic opportunity so far. So the reason we got Tom in for the first video today is because we're going to look at education, mm. and, and specifically yeah. around theatre and education, and how we approach that, that topic within the Theatre Stars company. Yeah. Um, but we're going to look at it as more as a specific thing to start with. So Tom, as your role as an educator, um, mm. facilitator, why do you think theatre is an important tool within the education sector? Well, I think I, you kind of answered, answered it already. It's, it's an alternative form mm. of education, it's uh, theatre. And, and I think kids learn in different ways. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, you have uh, the kids that are very good in, in learning visually, so looking yeah. at a whiteboard, have that skill in, in being able to use photographic memory, yeah. you know, memorising stats, memorising those, those, those core subjects really easily. And then you have kids like, like I was, mm. in the sense of you learn by doing. You know, yeah. you, you're a very kinesthetic learner, you learn in a practical sense. And, and I think theatre enables those kind of children yeah. to be able to learn those communication skills. They get lost to them you know, by trying to push them into the same kind of conveyor belt of mainstream mm. education, you know, because all kids learn in a different way, yeah. like we said. So yeah, I think, you know, it's theatre is great for being able to achieve um, good self-esteem, mm. good confidence, and that all interlinks with that able, being able to learn those core communication skills yeah. uh, that, that are missing if theatre doesn't yeah, exist absolutely. in education. So, so moving on to our company, what, what do you think Theatre Stars do uh, or, or does which is unique in that aspect of theatre and education? Yeah, well, I think, you know, firstly, we've got to say, you know, every single state school throughout the country yeah, do, yeah, does a magnificent yeah. job yeah. In, in, you know, in, in doing what, what, mm. what we said so far in, in trying to cater for every um, kid's learning skills, you yeah. know. Um, but what I think... Theatre Stars does so well, and why I was absolutely 100% taking the job straight away was that we tailor to the individual, yeah, you know, yeah. and I think we do that in, in whatever we do here at the company. Mm. I think um, we have a variety of, of kids mm. in regards to um, their skills, their capabilities, um, and and their performance styles yeah. and and I think that is absolutely fantastic. I think what you find in in other schools maybe is they have a a very kind of um, one dimensional look in who they mm. want to bring in. Yeah. We we welcome everyone yeah, and we do a, we do a whole variety of theatre styles mm. with them. So we do mask, we do naturalism, yeah. we do musical theatre, you know, uh, and with that singing obviously. Um, but I think, you know, we, we focus in those, those, those core skills of methods. So teaching the kids to use their emotional recall. So they might have different memories they have as, as you know, in, as kids of mm. happy times and sad times. And it's being able to use that in a safe environment to attach to, to the characters they're playing and, and, you know, show real, real and natural performances. Yeah, no, I think that's very true. And, and, and I'd like to just touch on what you're saying about catering to the individual. Yeah. Um, can you think of any examples or specific students in any of our schools where you've seen this, this method of theatre and education really grasping them, um, inspiring them, and, and a change in them since you've been working with them? Yeah, well, you know, it, it's, it's great in the sense, actually, because you... you, you, you 
all of them are fantastic yeah, and yeah. Uh, all of them have their different personalities <laughs> um <laughs> some are uh are really you know cheeky and and but but it, the great thing about Thea Stars is we take a real hands-on approach mm. and, you know, we love them all for, for who they are yeah. and we really try and bring the best out of them and, and try not to change them too much, no, yeah, you know. Yeah, but I think um, one in particular, there's a girl in the Newham branch, um, she, when I first joined, she really suffered with um, confidence issues, mm. um, didn't think highly of herself, you know, really shy. Um, and... You know, I just I I saw the potential as uh, potential. Yeah. You know? I saw yeah. a lot of myself in her. You know, I was like her. I'm not saying a whole sob story, but mm. you know, theatre really changed my life in in the sense yeah. of of what we're talking about. And and I think when I was doing her lambda examinations with her, which is another great thing we do here yeah. at Theatre Stars, um, we I was doing that emotional recall exercise with her. You know, mm. really trying to drag those memories that she she maybe have uh, you know felt. Um, you know, like she was on hard times or things, um, and then attaching that to the character she was playing, mm, mm. Um, and and to be honest, John, it was unrecognisable. You yeah, know that yeah. level of performance change once she had, you know, used some of those personal experiences to her. Yeah, yeah. was unbelievable, and mm. um, you know, and and it just shows with that 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 level of someone believing in you mm -hmm. and trying to push you yeah. and believing in your potential you can go yeah absolutely far. yeah brilliant that's a great example is there is there any others possibly at a different end of a spectrum or different kind of uh, ways that you've approached um, education within theatre and used it in a different way to bring out something in someone or yeah I, the, again in the same school there's uh, there's a a boy mm. um, that that shows stark contrast to yeah. that of the the person that I've just been talking about. You know, he he was on the other. You know, he he wasn't shy. You know, mm. he was um, <laughs> he was very en enthusiastic. You know, uh, and and showed kind of um, anger issues at times mm. and attitude. But I think it wasn't naughty as such. No. You know, yeah. um, it was just like I said, over enthusiasm. You know, and it's and it's just about. Um, not not trying to destroy that mm. over enthusiasm yeah. it's trying to channel that yeah. into a positive rather than a negative mm. you know it's what we've been talking about you know maybe at other schools they'll be trying to eradicate that altogether what we're yeah. trying to do here at theater stars is tailing to the individual yeah so going you know we absolutely love that level of dedication that you've given us but let's channel it into a yeah. positive rather than a negative and he's he's coming out with great work you know he's he, in in particular improvisation that we do mm. comedy yeah. you know that over enthusiasm that fearless attitude yeah it works incredibly yeah. well that That's style good. of theater brilliant great stuff great points there and i think we've touched on some really important things which yeah. hopefully which hopefully people might not know about theater stars you yeah know, you absolutely. know from what they see of us um you can get very much pigeonholed into this very typical run-of-the-mill station yeah. we want to come across and hopefully we are by giving further information is something yeah. we do which is we want to teach them a variety of skills yeah. rather than making them into a one-dimensional yeah. performance absolutely um so like like i said earlier we're going to look at different subjects during these vlogs but what i like to do either at the end or the start is just give a bit of an update on the schools what's happening at the moment mm -hmm. um so tom if you can just give us an update on what's coming up this term so going into the summer term what's happening between now and and the end of term, both mm. in um, both the schools you work at, both in Cheltenham and you. Yeah, I'd love to. Um, we, we've got a really fantastic term coming up in Theatre Stars uh, throughout all three schools. Um, we're doing a roll dial celebration term. So each school, uh, Cheltenham, Tewkesbury and Newant, will yeah. be choosing different roll dial stories. Um, and then we'll work on them for a term. And then uh, when it comes show week at the end of the term, we're going to bring those those three uh, three adapted versions of the Royal Dar stories together and create a really kind of unique um, stage performance of of these these three Royal Dar stories that's going to create a really interesting yeah. uh, performance I'm for really the audience. It. Uh, it's going to yeah. be great. Um, so in uh, Cheltenham, which is the school I manage, we're doing the BFG. Um, in Shrewsbury, they're doing a fantastic Mr. Fox, and yeah. in Newham, they're doing Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, I'm sure you agree, three absolutely brilliant novels. Yeah. Um, but the great thing about it is what, what we've been talking about this whole uh, this whole session is um, 
you know, these aren't the same stories you've heard no. over and over again. The, the managers and the, and the teachers of every school are adapting it into yeah. new scripts. Absolutely. So you're going you're gonna to meet new characters um, that are just going to add to the story. And it's going to be a really fantastic yeah. show week uh, yeah. for the audience and for the kids. Yeah, absolutely. We're looking forward to it. Um, so what we're planning on doing is we're going to try and do one of these every half term. Yeah, so the next yeah. one we do, we'll hopefully have an update of halfway through this showcase performance um, process. Um, Please like the video, comment, oh, give us yeah. any feedback. We'd really appreciate it. Like I said, this is the first one we've done. We'd like to do more, but we'd like to know if there's something you'd like to see. Yeah, share, 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 share. Share as much as you can. <laughs> yeah, share, share away with all your friends on Facebook and social media. And uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you, guys.